So you see the two projects I'm going to show, one is in, again in, in, in Luanda, Angola, which is the red dot, it's the country on the left, and then uh, in the east coast, uh, Kenya and uh, Nairobi. The, uh, the university project came to us through Indiana University that has Angolan students uh, in their university and the person that arranged for that came to us and asked us if we would be interested in doing a university. Luanda is it's below it's sub equatorial Africa but very close to the equator which eventually factored into the uh, design of the building. On the right you see Luanda so a very large site which you see at the bottom of the slide here. What I discovered, actually, which was interesting when we were driving around the country, uh, the city, was wonderful 1960s international style Corbusian buildings, which dealt with all the issues. A lot of the issues we're talking about today and sustainability were there, pre-air conditioned buildings. Then we asked ourselves, what can we, you know, let's not just reproduce the 60s architecture, let's think about uh, uh, architecture that's sustainable, but We've learned so much since then about sustainability and the idea of using very high-tech ideas and analysis, using the architecture as a kind of wind generating and energy generating uh, source and using more sophisticated systems that we have now to design these buildings but still have simple buildings that can be maintained uh, as a kind of uh, passive sustainable idea. Place the develop the core and the pinwheel idea uh, further within that configuration and then thought about buildings that were long bars with short east-west facades, very long north-south facades, so, so that you had the correct solar orientation for the windows, which either faced north or south, but, but you know, perpendicular to the breezes, you would have cross-ventilation going through these bars. So you have a, the architecture acting as a kind of uh, energy, uh, the, the actual form of the building, uh, creating uh, cross-ventilation and properly oriented, and then you have the, the landscape working in conjunction with. So it's really a large uh, machine, uh, uh, kind of sustainable, passive machine, sustainable uh, machine. So that you have this roof system, of a kind of a louvered roof system over very, very simple concrete structures. Again, keeping, keeping the structures as simple as possible, as maintainable as possible. So eventually, these roof elements become interesting aesthetic elements as well. It gives scale to the facility, breaks down the repetitive nature, and gives more variety to the, to the campus. And it's also this kind of filter, this visual filter as well, that ties the buildings together. Very simple, straightforward, but kind of rich kind of fabric that will eventually uh, serve to build out the entire university. The next project, uh, again, I mentioned, this is a project in, uh, on the other side of Africa. It's in Nairobi, Kenya. The client was, the, as I mentioned before, the Jordan Foundation. Uh, Mrs. Jordan has been involved uh, for years, in, uh, particularly in Kenya, with various social programs. And, and her dream was to build a, a uh, women's and children's uh, wellness village. So the idea, instead of doing one large building with the program, we uh, came up with the idea of uh, pavilions, individual buildings connected in a village like uh, environment. The diagram shows the idea of the uh, organization with a kind of village path going th down the center with uh, simple concrete buildings again, linear bars. It's a series of these pavilions stepping down the hill and then with a similar kind of roof structure to, to Angola. And the hospital is at the upper part and then we put the down in the, there's a kind of ravine down here, that's where the uh, the housing area, the hostel area is, and the gender violence recovery is at, uh, uh, in a courtyard in the back. So it's, it's really about treatment, but also about wellness and lifestyle and, and education. Similar to Angola, these uh, covered courtyards act as uh, outdoor waiting areas because you have large families coming to see patients that are in the hospital. So materials are very, very simple, corrugated metal roofs, uh, kind of hollow pot concrete uh, construction, and then uh, simple local stone at the base. We have the air-conditioned elements as this kind of base structure, the terraces down the hill, and on top the air-conditioned bars, which contain the, the beds, as well as the classroom facilities and the housing, uh, all uh, totally air-conditioned. Again, the idea of sort of wiping clean the idea of all the hospitals we've done in the U.S., which tend to be, again, these very large structures and thinking differently to really create a building that uh, will provide the wellness and the education but 
be, be non-institutional, inviting, culturally relevant to the, to the context.